Hello everybody, welcome to Leeds Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode. So, um, decided to do Sebeka Chenin Blanc. This is the 2008 Chenin Blanc from South Africa. Uh, in South Africa, Chenin Blanc is called, is called Steen. Make sure you take that, take your notes down so when you're taking your introductory sommelier exam, you know that Steen is also known as Chenin Blanc. As you'll probably have that question. At least that's what I've been told. Um, so got this for eight ninety seven at World Market. And uh, Chenin Blanc is one of those grapes you don't really see very often as far as a single varietal, at least here in the States. I haven't had too many of them. Um, I've had it as part of a blend from some other stuff. So I'm real excited to actually have a South African wine. So it's called, this is called Steen. Um, really shouldn't matter as far as the difference between that and Chenin Blanc. But let's check it out. Hmm. So I got like a, I got kind of a plastic smell and a little bit of fruit or um, I don't know actually it, it it really reminded me of, of going to the zoo and getting those little wax plastic animals. Like a hint of that. I don't know if you ever did that when you went to the zoo when you were a kid. But yeah, I'm getting kind of that plasticky smell, but they're, they're with a little hint of fruits, maybe kind of like tropical type fruits. So. Nothing bad, it's just something I've not really experienced. Now I'm getting more of those tropical fruits. And I just really, almost literally opened the wine just now. And normally I open these wines a couple hours earlier. But um, it's one of those, you, know, you just get home from work, you want to try some wine. That's what I did. I opened it. It's been open for maybe a total of five minutes. So, a true pop and pour. So let's check it out, see how it tastes. Definitely doesn't have that wax plastically plastically taste to it, so that's good. Um, it's real pleasant, not much acid at all. Um, it's got a little bit of the tropical fruits going on. Very, um, very light. I think it's a, I don't know, maybe a little too light. Um, I don't get much after the, about the first, say, 15 seconds on the palate. It's, um, it really kind of disappears. I don't really taste much now. So, I mean, it's, it's pleasant. And if it was probably chilled, it might be a little bit better. And it probably would work well, uh, work better with a little bit of food, um, Tonight, I know we're going to have some Chinese food. This might work out pretty decently with that. But um, I have a feeling the food is going to overpower the wine a little bit. So it's $9. I don't know. Just for the, just for the um, sake of having a South African wine, I'd say try it out. But I, I don't, I'm, not really, I'm not really all up about it. It's okay. I'd say an 84. It's it's not it's not horrible by any means, at least not to me. Um, but you know, it's 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 all right. It's 84. Um, so Sebeka is um, in South Africa, like I said. They um, and thank you, thank you, Sebeka, for having a website that, that talks about your wine. Um, so uh, it's 100% Chenin Blanc, and it says 75% came from the dry grown bush vines. And 25% came from the Worcester area, both in Cape Province. So, hey, we now know where that is. Well, 
we know what they say it is. I don't really know uh, my South African geography very well, so I have no clue where any of that stuff is. Um, and that's why I was using I came home, so let's get this episode knocked out, because tomorrow's Monday. Today's Sunday. Um, I said that they were carefully picked, gently destemmed prior to membrane pressing and given 24 hours of cold settling, a cold setting to ensure that the bright, clean juice was able to ferment at cool temperatures. All right, so what they talked about is in here is that you should be getting a crisp texture with intense citrus burst and a crisp texture. That's what South African steen is supposed to be. And they say that it's a vibrant with vibrant wine with a bright green gold color that dances with the flavors of freshly cut pineapple, grapefruit, and quince. Maybe. Uh, with a very fine palate and full flavored middle uh, and fresh cleansing acidity. Guys, I don't get much acidity off of that. Um, I don't get much of a middle. It's, it's, it's really just kind of all the beginning and it just kind of gently fades away. Maybe if I uh, left it open for a little bit, it might open up some more. Um, but like I said, it's not a bad wine. I'm glad I've tried it. The the fruit is starting to come out a little more. Um, something that's a little unusual, and that might be the quince. That might be the quince. I don't really know what quince smells like. Um, I don't really say it would be the pineapple necessarily, or the, definitely not the grapefruit, but maybe the pineapple. I don't know, I guess something more orangey as far as citrus. Almost like mandarin orange. Yeah, it's very low and not much not much acid, and it really kind of trails off pretty quick. I think 84 is a good score for that. Um, so anyway, uh, make sure you are telling your friends about it. Uh, watch the show. Watch the episodes. Friend me up. And uh, send me emails about anything you have or make comments down below. And if you are watching this somewhere else besides the website, go to the website. That's where you can find a whole bunch of new stuff. Not new stuff, but uh, cool stuff. Uh, Sommelier School. Uh, we've got the library and the marketplace. You can get some stuff from there. Get some books for uh, so you can get yourself educated about wine. And uh, that's going to be it. We'll see everybody again Wednesday. And uh, just as a reminder, a reminder... Uh, so many, I'm sorry, 1337 Wine TV's episodes will now be on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, last week I made it kind of a spur-of-the-moment decision. I'd already recorded all three episodes on Monday, and I decided that, I think, on Monday night or Tuesday that I was going to have them spread out so that each of the episodes get a little more love instead of Monday, Tuesday not getting much attention and Wednesday being the episode. So, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday from now on, and then, again, Thursdays is still Sommelier School. Hope you all have a great week, and we'll see everybody again on Wednesday.